Uh, actually, for the digital uh, revolution, uh, can you imagine if now in this period with COVID, we don't have <coughs> internet um, or Zoom or whatever? Yeah, we'll so like... it, it be, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi Nicole, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, How can, are you hear, you? can you hear Hi. me all right? Yeah, very well. Cool. I can hear you. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much for uh, uh, having accepted our uh, invitation. Yeah, thank you. So how is uh, everything? You're in the yeah, right now? Yeah, everything is okay. We are surviving. <laughs> yeah, surviving, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, Nicole, um, let me give you an idea of what we are doing here uh, today. So, this is okay. um, um, a video podcast series in which we are uh, interviewing and talking with um, uh, several professionals and uh, players in the um, architectural design, interior design, uh, but also business, uh, business world in order to understand different point of views um, from different people from different countries all over all okay. over the world um, uh, especially to talk about the situation that we are living today and to understand how uh, different countries and different professionals are facing this uh, uh, this situation even because we have a community of professionals and designers uh, architects that are following us and are aiming to understand also how other uh, professionals all around the world are uh, living this situation okay okay i can hear you now so yeah. um i'd like to start right away and um, ask you to give us an, um, an idea of uh, your work and uh, a short presentation of yourself okay uh, so actually um, uh, we are uh, i'm working in ft consult uh, which is a consultancy uh, uh, company uh, uh, open in Doha since uh, 13 years almost. Uh, I'm the head of interior design department in this company. Uh, I'm a Lebanese uh, interior designer. I came to Doha since almost 13 years and uh, I joined FD Consult uh, from six years almost. So I have 20 years of experience, uh, almost um, uh, in, in all uh, kind of, uh, of uh, uh, domain in uh, uh, hotel uh, offices uh, in uh, all kinds of uh, I mean interior design projects uh, etc. Cool, and so you are based right now in uh, Qatar and uh, working as a professional yeah. in the architectural yeah, interior exactly. design world. Let's say. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And uh, how is uh, um, the situation in Qatar right now concerning the epidemic, uh, pandemic situation? How is uh, Qatar facing the? Actually, it's it's a little bit flu. It's a little bit uh, little bit flu. Uh, we are not. We cannot expect uh, in the future what uh, what will happen, uh, since also we are still having a lot of uh, infected. Uh, every day on daily basis. So uh, we have around 1,700 uh, till 2,000 uh, on daily uh, basis. But uh, since uh, Qatar is preparing for uh, the 2022 uh, um, World Cup, yeah. so we are still hoping to get uh, new, the new projects related to this, uh, uh, to the 2022. So uh, the construction didn't stop here. Um, uh, the the people are working from home, most of them, but the, the construction, they are working 100%. They are uh, attending sites. Uh, normally, everything is normal. But for the companies, uh, only 20% from the staff are working from the office and the rest are working from home. Uh, so hope that our domain will not be affected a lot, but sure the projects that are not related to 2022 are postponed. 
they are not uh, taking action now. They are uh, a little uh, hesitating to get uh, action, mm -hmm. uh, waiting to see what will happen in the future. So sure, we are sometimes losing some project or postponing some project to wait what will happen in the future. Because definitely the 2022 World Cup is uh, a major event for uh, Doha and Qatar in, uh, in general. And I guess that there's a lot of projects yeah. going on uh, that are linked to this, uh, uh, to this event that will happen in, uh, in two years, exactly. in one year and a half. So two, we are counting on, on this point. Yeah, but how do exactly. you think so this? We are counting on this. I, I guess, yeah, I imagine. And uh, but how do you, how do you think that this uh, uh, situation is influencing, is um, changing the projects in Qatar, despite the the World Cup? Uh, have you seen a slowdown in terms of uh, projects and construction? And sure, sure, sure. Because uh, since uh, some of the people are working from home. So the feedback, uh, the reply on everything is getting slower. Uh, it's not the same when you are very active at the office, sitting at the office in a serious, a serious atmosphere. So it's different. And uh, here in Doha, they, are not, uh, they didn't get used to um, work in digital uh, way. So some of them are not very uh, familiar with the um, remote uh, uh, meeting or etc. So it's still very slow to get a reply from them, to get feedback. Uh, so everything is getting uh, very slow. And also the people are uh, a little waiting in a, in, a, um, in a stage that they are waiting to see what will happen. Definitely. As today is June 4th. And uh, so you are still in lockdown right now. Um, not uh, totally, not totally in lockdown. The problem that's here in Doha, they never did lockdown, total okay. lockdown. Okay. So that's why um, the, the virus is still spreading. Uh, so uh, why? Because they cannot stop the construction and mainly the most uh, infected people are in the construction, uh, in the construction uh, uh, domain. Yeah, field. Definitely. And, you know, uh, it's interesting to also understand how different countries are facing this new way of working, this new uh, working from yeah. home uh, mm. uh, style. As uh, yeah. you know, some countries are, maybe we're already used to work in this way. Uh, I'm thinking about mm. Northern European countries, for example, or uh, uh, Canada or some mm. other um, uh, countries. Italy, for example, was yeah. a little bit behind in terms of working from home. And uh, we have been forced uh, from a certain point of view to work from home yeah yeah and have you been able mm. and has been qatar able to adjust and uh, and and uh, use this new way of work and how do you think after the pandemic um, the the field of uh, work will uh, will change um actually i hope that it will not stay for a long time this uh, this uh, case uh because um here, uh, some of the people uh, know how to use, I mean, digital, uh, or they are getting used to do that, but some of them, it's difficult for them, especially the Qatari people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so we are facing this uh, issue with them. Um, they still like to see the people in front of them, to uh, do interaction with them, so uh, it's not very easy. Uh, and also for interior design, if I will talk personally for interior design, I still like to also do interaction, live interaction with the client, because you know, to, to discover what is the style that is matching with his personality, you mm -hmm. have to discover his personality Definitely. Uh, from uh, his uh, way uh, to talk, from his style, uh, his outfits uh, sometimes, uh, from uh, his attitude. So. Uh, it's difficult a little to discover the personality of the client uh, from Zoom or from uh, the digital connection. It's a little difficult. And also, you, as you know, we need to see physical samples. We need to touch the, thing, the things. We need to go outside, uh, see how the work is going on. Uh, so it's a little difficult with our, uh, with our uh, field to keep working uh, by digital um, 
way. And sometimes also we travel to, uh, to select the material by ourselves uh, to see the slabs, the material, the marble slabs, the wallpaper, etc., the furniture. So it's not easy to keep working by a digital uh, way. You know, it's this not is easy. This is also a, um, a discussion I had with a couple from, um, from Denmark and they are running yeah. a design company in, uh, in Copenhagen. And okay. they, they told me the same thing. So that the, oh, the importance of exactly. personal relations uh, uh, yeah. between the clients and, uh, and the professionals, uh, it is very important. Uh, but oh. do you think that this situation will change in a way, uh, this approach? Maybe there will be in the next future a combination of a digital presence and also a physical presence. I'm thinking about, for example, yeah. uh, maybe avoiding to, um, I don't know, going in a showroom or, but receiving samples. Uh, even though for our job it's very important to touch, to feel, to see, to exactly. go there. And, yes. and uh, mm. how do you think this will change? Um, I think they will mix, they will mix, uh, if the COVID will stay, sure, we are talking about this option, uh, uh, they will mix because sure, the number of infected will be less in the future, so um, maybe they will reduce the number of meetings uh, in a certain way, uh, taking the precautions, but definitely they cannot cancel it 100%, the uh, live meeting with the people, it's impossible but they can reduce it. Uh, some of the things can be done by digital, no need to go personally, uh, can be solved. Uh, and maybe this will also um, uh, facilitate sometimes. It's not a bad thing uh, to do uh, the things by digital because sometimes you are, uh, it's more fast to take action immediately without waiting to, for, to visit the, the, the uh, the area or to visit uh, the things. So sometimes it's good. And in a certain uh, way, it's impossible uh, in my point of view. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and sometimes you have to see the things uh, by yourself. You cannot, for, for real. Yeah, yeah exactly. For real. <laughs> impossible. No, this is something interesting because uh, as uh, I am discussing with um, really different people from all over the countries and usually the topics are always the same and, and this yeah. come up. And um, one interesting thing is also that uh, in a lot of people think that in the future, companies will be closer to professionals and even to final yeah. clients. And this is something that was already happening because if you're looking for certain type of products, first thing you do, you go online and check a different type of... Uh, exactly. Uh, and mm. so maybe this situation will even boost the, uh, this uh, even, even more than, than what was already yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But from this point of view, how, how do you think uh, um, uh, countries like Qatar that have... Uh, it's an important market for a lot of, uh, um, I'm thinking, for example, Italian companies uh, that, in, mm. that export uh, uh, luxury goods to yes. uh, Middle East countries such as Qatar. Uh, do you think there will be less uh, business in, maybe in the next month because of the situation or, uh, the, or, the, or the business will be, will be the same? I'm talking about uh, defi imp importing materials yeah. from, from Europe. Mm. Uh, importing materials. Uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, for the, since there, there are projects, sure, you have to import materials. So this is related to each other. Uh, but uh, hope that we will not face problem with the last projects. Uh, as I told you, the, only the project related to 2022, maybe the rest will be postponed or will be uh, sometimes on hold. Uh, waiting to see what will happen. Um, uh, so, but from Europe, it's uh, mandatory because here they are always requesting for European material. They insist to have uh, high quality and uh, good brands. Uh, so once we have a project, uh, surely we will go uh, with European materials. But uh, to be frank with you, they are a little now, we are getting a little lower budget uh, less than before. Before everything was from Europe, everything without exception, but now they are getting lower with the budget. Um, um, I think it's like a general case in all the world. Uh, 
everything, everybody is going to lower price, to lower budget. So now they are working a lot with Turkey, for example. Uh, they are uh, getting a lot of materials from there. So, um, um, but as interior designer in our company also, we are always insisting to go with the European materials because we trust uh, the uh, finishing, we trust uh, the level, we trust uh, the quality. Uh, so we try and it's matching with our project level also. Definitely. Um, yeah. You know, I'm thinking about, for example, the ceramic tile uh, sector, and uh, which uh, oh, has been yeah. affected heavily by this uh, situation. And uh, as you as you said, yeah. for example, maybe uh, six months ago, 100% of the materials was from Italy or Spain. Uh, maybe exactly. maybe now it's only seventy percent, and and we buy thirty percent from from Turkey, and the 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 situation exactly. is is that compared to ten years ago, the quality of Turkish material, Turkish ceramic tiles, for example, uh, improved a lot uh, because the technology yeah. uh, is mostly the same. Yeah. Um, so this could be a threat. Exactly, for, and the, uh, the, the price are competitive. Exactly. Mm. So this could be definitely a threat for uh, for European companies yeah. and that have, have to be aware of this and uh, looking forward to try new solutions. Um, you know, I am exactly. I, I, I exactly. am I, I am understanding that the um, most important event in Qatar will be uh, the next World Cup 2022. Exactly. And, uh, yes. how, are you personally working on some projects related to, to this event? Actually, uh, the project related to, the, to, to this event are uh, uh, taken by uh, some very high, I mean, big companies. Okay. But we usually work as a sub-consultant in most of the cases. Uh, so um, uh, this is the case. And uh, uh, because usually they have two or three companies, everything related to World Cup is okay. going to them. Sure. But uh, they work with sub-consultants. Uh, so this is our case uh, for the project related 2022. But I want also to highlight on uh, the project related to 2022, there are a lot of projects that are temporary projects. So later on, they will demolish it and um, replace it with something else. So in that case, they will not go with very high-end materials. So this is affecting also uh, the country of origin that you select. Definitely. And do you yeah. think that this, uh, this, will, uh, uh, this event will boost the economy in, uh, in Qatar and in which ways this will, uh, this will do? Uh, you mean the projects? Or the, 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 the 2022 uh, World Cup, in which ways? They are will paying boost? a lot. Yeah, they are paying a lot for this project and uh, they are focusing only on this uh, in, in those two, three years. Uh, every, everything is focused on this uh, thing, so they are paying a lot, they are spend, um, spending all, a lot of money on this uh, project, so uh, sure, it's, uh, it will affect uh, their economy. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. I, I'm guessing also in terms of uh, receiving people in the country, so even in terms of hospitality, yeah. hotels, uh, restaurants. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And maybe this will also help the interior design and the architectural field in the next month because exactly. these, these locals, they will have more money to invest in renovating yeah. the, uh, oh, the spaces. Oh. Um, sure. You know, I was wondering if you can give us really a brief uh, uh, idea uh, and, and story of Qatar, maybe in the last 10 years, uh, from the last 10 years, uh, from uh, last 10 years to now, how, how it is changed uh, in terms of the interior design and the architectural field, which were the major changes in, uh, in this market? And how do you, oh. th how, how do you see the, uh, the next years after, after the COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, actually, when I came here in the beginning, I felt that Qatar was more uh, active. Uh, now I feel that it's less active. But in the last years, sure, because they are concentrating on the World Cup, it's getting better. But comparing to the beginning from since uh, 10 years, it was more active. Uh, also because Qatar um, was if you can say empty so uh, during those two ten years they were uh, constructing uh, a lot of things uh, new hotels if you compare Qatar from 10 years and now 
uh, there is a big, a huge difference. Uh, so uh, from 10 years, there was uh, nothing, maybe two or three hotels only. And now it's full of hotels, full of uh, residential apartments, uh, buildings. And uh, you have a lot, uh, lot of malls. Uh, you have a, a huge number of malls now. So all this um, uh, sure help us in our domain to get a new project, to work on, on new projects. And now it's getting a little uh, down, um, I think uh, because of the economy, because they spend a lot of money and now they are trying to uh, uh, save make, up uh, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Save, save up a, little, a bit for, for uh, also to, to continue for uh, the World Cup. So uh, now we feel that it's a little slower. And also before, uh, uh, you have a lot of opportunities, a lot of uh, for work. Uh, now you feel that it's a little lower. So I, I guess it's the story is similar to other uh, Middle Eastern countries with a similar story that have evolved yeah. very fastly, very fast in the last 10 years. And uh, now they're normalizing, basically. Yeah, ju just normalizing. normalizing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, uh, I'd like to um, ask you a bit about something that we already talked about but uh, I'd, I'd like to point out this because I think it's pretty pretty interesting and, and important and I'm talking about the digital revolution that um, is yeah. happening and it was already happening since yeah. five, five years maybe but, exactly. uh, but now this situation has boosted uh, even more yeah. and I, I was um, interested to know your opinion on how do you think the Qatari people and Qatar in general uh, is using these digital tools that we now have, and uh, if you think that this will also help your business. Yeah, uh, actually for the digital uh, revolution, uh, can you imagine if now in this period with COVID, we don't have <coughs> internet um, or Zoom or whatever. Yeah, we'll so like... <laughs> it, it will be, yeah uh, everybody will stay home and nobody will work. So it will be very difficult. So definitely it's very important for us. And we are lucky to, be, uh, to have COVID in this period of our life. Um, for, uh, uh, for the Qatari, concerning the Qatari, the new generation, definitely, definitely uh, they are very, I mean, uh, um, uh, up to date and uh, they use digital easily. But the old generation, it's a little difficult for them uh, to get used to it. Um, and sure, we have clients from different generations. So, so sometimes we are facing problems, sometimes it's okay, it's very perfect and, uh, and very cool. But personally, I still don't like 100% the digital connection. I prefer uh, to have, as we said before, as I mentioned, that I prefer to see the things by myself, uh, a lot of things um, to be alive. Uh, live interaction yeah and you know an interesting thing that i've read on an article a couple of days ago is that even this type of conversation so this uh, uh video conference uh they yeah. are less intimate than a phone conversation for example yes. because during a phone conversation you are 100 percent focused on the conversation and maybe you are yeah. uh, in pajama uh, on your balcony <laughs> yes, dr drinking exactly. coffee uh, while in yeah. this in this situation even though mm -hmm. of course we are talking freely and there's no problem at all but we have to build an environment uh, in order exactly. to, and, and this is something that uh, is different than... Uh, mm. uh, now, than because we feel that it's uh, temporary, so that's why we are not creating this environment. But once we feel that it will stay, stay for a long time, we have to create this environment. And also, there are a lot of uh, things you were not expecting uh, that you will do it. For example, uh, my meeting with you, <laughs> yeah. maybe it would not happen if uh, we are in a normal, uh, I mean, uh, situation. So it, it, the digital <laughs> is helping a lot. I mean, maybe we, we will get, uh, we will use it in the future, even if we are in a normal uh, situation, we, will, we might use it uh, in the future also. Uh, to see the people that are in a different country and they cannot come to Doha or so it's helping in, in some way. 
Definitely. And I, as well, usually don't do this. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I usually work so, in another field, but I think it, it was interesting to use this, yeah. this moment to uh, mm. gain a lot of uh, opinions from professionals all, uh, all over sure. the places. Sure. Um, I'd like to ask you one last question, then I, I leave you. Yeah. I don't want to keep you two hours <laughs> don't on, worry. Uh, on. Don't worry. Um, you know, I was uh, interested to understand your opinion on how do you think that this situation will change the um, architectural and design trends. For example, we talked about creating an environment for this type of conversation. And I had um, a speech with a, a conversation with a Japanese architect and he told me that in his opinion, the offices, for example, will change in the future because there will be more uh, display of products rather than actual places where people go to work because a lot more people will work from home. How do you think yes. the situation will change the design trends in, in the next future? Actually, uh, sometimes I don't think in the future. <laughs> I prefer to stay in the, the present. Current, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the present. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, personally, I prefer to not go to this option to stay at home because I like to be in an environment uh, that is really work uh, for work. Uh, because you know here sometimes um, you don't uh, you cannot concentrate a lot uh, sometimes your kids ask you a lot of kid a lot of questions uh, yeah i saw so your you daughter before really... going uh, yeah, I <laughs> like that. That. but no i like that i like that a lot. <laughs> i'm sorry for that but uh, so uh, you know uh, it's not easy to concentrate and also you keep feeling that you are in at work because your computer is in front of you all the time from morning till evening but when you go work, you know that once you take your car and you come back to your home, you forget anything exactly. about work. So this is uh, not easy to to uh, bring your work to home. at home. It's not easy. Uh, but the thing that it's good that you are not spending time on uh, on uh, wearing your clothes and preparing yourself and uh, take your car to go to the so this one hour, uh, it's uh, also, you can uh, maybe use it for uh, something more important. Uh, <clears throat> so um, I don't know really in the future what will happen. I'm not thinking about that. I don't want to think about it. More focus uh, on, on the present time. Yeah, on the present, exactly. You know, it was interesting, um, uh, a couple of uh, architects from India, they told me, you know, right now it's, uh, w way better because usually we spend half of the day uh, in the traffic jam uh, exactly. going from one place to another. I'm thinking yeah. about country, uh, cities like uh, Mumbai or, uh, or New Delhi which are packed of people and it's uh, really, really uh, they used to spend four or five hours yeah. per day in the car and uh, from that point of view, uh, they were uh, more happy in, in this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's it really change based uh, on the country you are working on and uh, exactly I, I, depends I, on uh, where you are living exactly i i, I, I agree with you from uh, from that point of view it's mm, uh, mm. it's better i think uh, to have two different type of environment one when when you are working and one where you are at home yes. uh, and you, are, you are thinking about yourself and not yeah. under, yeah. Yeah. Other, otherwise exactly. it's, it's difficult to see to, to understand where the personal life finish and where, where the work starts mm. and uh, yeah it's uh, you, you are not organized so everything is uh, i mean a mix a mix up yeah even so from a psychological point easy. of view yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, cool. sure. Nicole, thanks so much. It was uh, really yeah, amazing having you. you. And uh, yeah, thanks again uh, for accepting the... It was a the, pleasure for me also to meet you. I, I didn't introduce you, uh, Marco Fontana, which is our uh, uh, creative director, which is... Uh, which hand drawn during the, the conversation. Uh, okay, uh, actually you have a very nice things. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, your product are really very nice and we insisted uh, in our project to, uh, to keep uh, working with this uh, brand and this material. Thanks so much. Because you know, they try to, to choose alternatives and something lower with lower price. Well, we are keeping so on, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Insisting, so I hope everything will be okay. Hope so, and hope we will work uh, together in the future uh, with a lot of projects. Um, I'm sure. Thank you for your time. Thanks to you, Nicole. We'll be in touch and uh, stay safe. Okay, sure. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Bye. 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 See you. Bye.